church, if you would, please stand for the reading of scripture. From 1 John chapter 2, verses 6 through 11. Whoever claims to live in him must walk as Jesus walked. Dear friends, I'm not writing you a new command, but an old one, which you've had since the beginning. This old command is the message you have heard. Yet I am writing you a new command. Its truth is seen in him and in you, because the darkness is passing and the true light is already shining. Anyone who claims to be in the light but hates a brother or sister is still in the darkness. Anyone who loves their brother and sister lives in the light, and there is nothing in them to make them stumble. But anyone who hates a brother or sister is in the darkness and walks around in the darkness. They do not know where they are going because the darkness has blinded them. And then from 1 John chapter 3, verse 16. This is how we know what love is. Jesus Christ laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for our brothers and sisters. And from the Old Testament, the prophet Micah, chapter 6, verse 8. He has shown you, O mortal, what is good. And what does the Lord require of you? To act justly and to love mercy and to walk humbly with your God. Church, please remain standing as we pray this prayer together. Dear Heavenly Father, our hearts are broken by the darkness, disease, and division we see in our world. Lord, give us your eyes to see every person the way that you see them. Help us to actively and unselfishly pursue God's best for every person in our world. Help us to love with the grace, hope, and the truth of Jesus Christ. Lord, give us the strength to mourn with those who mourn and to weep with those who weep. Let your justice roll like waters. Let your righteousness and love flow from us like rivers of living water. Purify our hearts and fill us with your genuine compassion. Give us a hunger for justice, mercy, and peace. Help us participate in your mission to redeem all of creation. Help us to be peacemakers in our world, rather than just peacekeepers. Help us serve as your ambassadors, sharing the hope of the gospel with everyone. Forgive us, purify us, guide us by your healing hand of grace. In Christ's name, amen.